Okay, the best way to connect Ableton MIDI ports into OSC and go. So what you want to do is create two MIDI ports. Let's name them Abletron in. And the second one will be called Abletron out with capital letters at the very beginning of each one. Now it doesn't really matter what you name them. You can name them, for example, cat in and dog out. They don't have to be the same name. You don't even need to use out. Like for example, you can just say cat and dog. Cat's going to be in, dog's going to be out. So now go to OSC. MIDI is the thing we are looking at. List the MIDI devices, but double check they're working. Yes, there they are. Ableton in, out, cat, dog, in the inputs and the outputs. Now there's MIDI port numbers here, but we don't need to care about those numbers. So here we need to create a name, a container for both these MIDI ports. It's like a little group, it's like a grouped section that we're naming. So for simplicity, let's call the grouped container Abletron. Make sure to spell this correctly. It's, I make so many spelling mistakes. So two dots, no spaces, Abletron dash out with a capital. I'll explain why out in a second. Abletron dash in with a capital. And then when you do a space, it means you can add another MIDI port. So for example, we've got cat and dog. So we can name it anything we want. We can name this MIDI port horse frog. Two dots. The dog goes first because it's the output and the cat is second. And now we've got two things. So why did I put Abletron out first and then Abletron in? Well, in the OSC uh, assignment of things this part is the in the import this is the import this is where OSC receives um, data into it and oops and the second line so I'll do more spaces so you can see it the second line is the OSC's output to send data out it, this is this confused me before because it's obviously the opposite way of naming it. But think of it like this. Ableton is sending data out into OSC. So Ableton is sending MIDI data out from Ableton's out port into OSC's in port. Does that make sense? And it's the same thing for the second one. So OSC is sending data out into Ableton. So that's why we put these ports in this order. I hope that makes sense. I can explain it better later. Okay, press play and it should work. Let's do a new session. Create a fader just to test it out. Go to the value the max value 127 because we're going to do a CC value. That control does the CC value, the pre arg You want to do MIDI channel 1, then CC 60. Then the target, this is where you use the container. So you write in MIDI, two dots, semicolon? I think that's it. Abletron. <laughs> Great. You can click out or you can click enter and it will be saved. Now go into Ableton. Ah, <whistles> uh, damn. All right, open up OSC. Let's create a new, 
Let's make a fader. Go into the fader and set the max to 127 as we are going to do a CC value. Address, do control. That means it's sending CC values. In the pre-arg, 1 is MIDI channel 1. 60 is the CC60. MIDI. Oh yeah, so this is where we want to name our MIDI. So we have Abletron. So you write in MIDI semicolon, which I'm very sure that's what it's called. Abletron. Okay, hopefully there's no spelling mistakes and let's open up Ableton. So once Ableton is opened, let's move it to the side so you can see everything. And, uh, oh yeah. Let's um, open up preferences. So once preferences are open, you'll get this. Cat, dog, Ableton in, Ableton out. So deselect the outs here. So these are the in ports, the MIDI ins. So deselect all the ones that says out. And then with the ones that says Ableton in, do remote as well. So track and remote, you want selected. And then the out ports for Ableton. Select Ableton out. And dog is our output cat is our input for the other one great so that should work midi assigned this volume fader let's see if it works there we go it's been assigned unclick and now it should be responding it is perfectly responding great and you can even do things like automate as well and it will be able to mimic that here and it's all very fun and happy and all working great it's very important to assign MIDI ports this way in Ableton I ran into the problem before when I only had one port that Ableton was using for in and out and it was causing glitches in the session view and making MIDI loop uh, go into MIDI loop feedback loop I think that's makes sense so that's the end. That's probably one of the shortest things I've ever done. Uh, I hope you liked it. And I'll see you later.